Hi, thanks for joining me. And in this video, we're going to discuss how to create a collaborative assignment in Google Classroom. Now, if you've watched some of my previous videos about HyperDocs, or if you've read anything about HyperDocs online, there are different ways that you can do this. But for now, we're just gonna focus on something simple. If you'd like to see more about HyperDocs though, check out this link and learn more using this video. But for now, I've created an assignment in my Google Drive called Collaboration in Science. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up really quick so I can show you what it looks like. It's called Collaboration in Biology, actually. And what I did here is I made it so that there are tables with questions and I've given a place for the students to put their name and students to put an answer. And I made one copy of this in my Google Drive and now I'm gonna go out to Classwork and I'm gonna go ahead and create an assignment that when I'm finished allows all the students in the class to engage in the same document and answer together. So I'll click assignment, we'll call this collaboration. And I can go ahead and leave instructions here. And again, I always suggest that you put things like this in here to kind of help students navigate, especially if they're new to Google Classroom. From here, I'll tell them to open the document and provide an answer to each question. And then also say, be mindful of others as you answer. Obey all classroom rules as you answer. So I'll go ahead and put a point value on this or maybe this is just daily work or maybe it's ungraded. Don't forget you have that option. I will click a due date and let's say for instance this is due today and I want them to complete it during class. So I'll put the end of the class bell for the day for first period. And then I'll do a topic. Now I'm gonna create a new topic called collaboration. So I could do this on a weekly basis if I wanted to. Then I'll go to the drive icon and I'll find my assignment and here it is and I'll click add. Now the thing that we're going to do different right now is instead of clicking students can view file I'm going to choose students can edit file. Now in the previous video I told you that if you choose this option students will get a copy of your original that they can then edit. So if you're going to do this for multiple classes, it might not hurt for you to make a copy of this for each hour and attach it to each hour. So I might go to file, make a copy, and then I'll call this instead of copy of collaboration in biology, I'll call it second period collaboration in biology. And then I could make, and here it is, and then I could make another one called third period. And that way I can keep responses from each class on separate documents. But in this case, what's going to happen is because I've attached my original here, then when students open it, they'll see one document and they'll be able to see each other responding to the same document. Okay, so I'll click assign and this will show up in the classwork stream. So I'm gonna jump out to a couple of other accounts so you can see what this looks like to other students. So if I jump down to this student and open up the classwork stream, then I'm gonna refresh the page and I'll see that we have a new category down here called collaboration in science. So I'll go ahead and open that and I can see uh, that I can either click view assignment here, which if they do that, it opens up this page. And I do recommend that they go ahead and do this because when they're finished entering their responses into this worksheet, then they can click mark as done. You'll notice also that this says this is missing. This means that uh, I made the due date at 920 and I'm recording this video after the actual due date. So that's why it says it's missing at this point. But I'm gonna go ahead and open that document as a student and I'll say uh, Sandite PD is the name of this uh, respondent. And then we'll go ahead and put, you know, my answer for the question, okay? 
Now I'm going to go ahead and jump out to another account with a different student. And again, if we look in classwork down here, we see collaboration and science. We'll click view assignment. And here, this is a new student. So it's kind of telling the student when you're finished, mark assignments as done. So not only does it help for you to remind them of these things, but if they're new to classroom, they'll get this little tutorial when they jump in. We'll open the assignment and you can see here that up at the top, I can see there's another student in this assignment. I can actually see his answers right here. And if I put in my answer and we click back over to the other student here, you can see that he as well sees that I'm in this assignment. So they're both working in the assignment at the same time and it allows students to be at their own device, at their own seat or in groups answering questions um, in a collaborative environment. So you can do this as group work where each group logs in and answers and you've got maybe four or five groups that answer together simultaneously in the same document or you can do this as an individual assignment. But in any case, the benefit of doing this is that with collaboration, especially if you are doing this after a lesson in which you introduce a new topic, it always helps students, if they're not understanding the topic, to see what's going through the minds of others in their classroom. Um, that way, if they, if they can't think of the answer on their own, or if they're having trouble just recalling the information, that little extra bit of seeing another student's answer helps to jog their brain and get them started on the assignment. So, and plus, if you have a student that never participates, then when they do an assignment like this, they may be able to get information that they weren't able to get before by working individually on an assignment without a partner, without a group, or without collaborative help. So, that is how to set up an assignment so that all students can edit one file for collaboration. If you have questions about this, or if you'd like to use a HyperDoc, like I said, watch the HyperDoc video at this link. And if you have questions, please feel free to contact me or check out my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.